Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, oh, get into position here. Right, we are back here in Microsoft Flight Simulator. We are um, going to be flying a new plane today. A plane that I have not flown ever. In fact, this is the first time I've ever been in its cockpit. So this is going to be really uh, interesting. Um, we're going to be flying the TBM930, which is a turboprop plane. Uh, we're still at Gibraltar, so we're exactly where we were, where we left off yesterday. Uh, we are going to be taking off from here. We, are pro we have to buy the plane first in NeoFly. Then we have to do the um, the test flight as well. I better make sure I buy insurance. Rem remember to do that. Then we're going to do the test flight. Uh, all the license testing to enable to then use it on jobs with NeoFly. Uh, it's like I said, it's a turboprop plane. It has an altitude of 31,000 feet, so it can go quite high. Uh, we really don't know, we, we, I really don't know much about the plane, like its rotate speed. I know that its landing speed is about 85 knots. Uh, I know that much. Uh, but anything else, we're just basically going to have to figure out uh, along the way. I suspect it'll probably be quite a bit of a um, learning curve in regards to actually flying it. So, <laughs> so anyway, first things first, let me just jump in the I fly and buy it. So we own it. You now own a brand new TBM 930. Our balance, by the way, is still 150,000 after the purchase. So we're still plodding along. We've got planes, other, our other planes doing jobs. Uh, TBM 930, we're gonna start, stop insurance on that one. And now our DA62, we can start him earning us work, so we're not getting rid of it. He's gonna go off and find work for us now as well. 1,400 I think is the range for the DA62. So I'm gonna look for, just for look for some jobs there. And we'll get them sent off. We'll get it working for us as well. It's a shame it can't do all jobs. Some of the jobs. Oh wow. Oh no. It can't carry that much weight. There's a job here which is uh, pays 111,000, but there's no way in the world it can carry that weight. I don't think it can carry that weight. 1,187 DA62 Can it do it? No, no it can't. Damn. Next one then is only 17,000. And I don't think you can do that one either. The cargo is way too much. Why is the cargo so much? Now oh, this one. Alright, that one's done. Alright, so he's off doing a job now. So we've got three planes in the air working for us now. Um, so our balance is going to go up quite nicely. However, we need to do our pilot thing. So we need to do single engine turboprop. We need to do that. So let's have a look. Why would it E G T D Why would it no 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 that I'm not doing nine hundred and twenty two nautical miles 
Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> That's a bit ridiculous. We're not. I'm not doing a 922 nautical mile trip for a test. So I hope that is not the norm. If that's the norm, that would be ridiculous. There we go. LE79 nautical miles, LE85. Where is LE85? LE85. Have a look and see where LE85 is. Okay, LE85 is a concrete runway there, so it is not too far away. So we'll do that one, I think, for our, our first um, trip in this plane. Needs 190 pounds of weight. So let's just put that in there. That's probably for our tester. All right. 79 nautical miles must be completed with a mono turbo prop. Let's connect and fly and make sure. Transporter to dispatch. Yep. Welcome to your qualification mission. All right, there we go. So let's switch back to normal camera view here. Okay, so here we are, normal camera views reinstated. Um, we'll switch back to here. Right, I'm always nervous about flying a new plane. Let me just double check that we've got insurance. We do. Okay, yes, we do, that's good. Why is it disconnected? Transporter to dispatch. Welcome to your qualification mission. That's strange that that disconnected like that. Anyway, okay. Right. <laughs> we want to have a look at the checklist. This will be a while. We'll be going through this for quite a bit. Uh, inside inspection. Exterior lights. Are off. Okay. Taxi. Landing. Oh, all right. Okay. So it's one switch all. Well, that's good. Uh, interior lights off. In a cabin. Okay, so there are my lights. Crash lever. Down. Starter off. All right. Ignition auto. Okay. Ox boost PMP. What is that? Off. Fuel selector to manual. AP trims off, DI system all off, 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 yep, 
a no separator, is that what that is? That is off, parking brake is on. Yep. Landing gear lever is down, obviously. And bleed is off, okay. There is so much more throttle. Throttle is this throttle? Be cut off if you're at the bottom there. Okay, that's different. Fuel tank selector open and L or right. Fuel tank selector. Open an L or R. EXT lights. Off. In lights. Off. Crash lever. Down. Starter. Off. Ignition. Auto. Auxiliary boost PMP. Off. Fuel cell. Man. AP slash trims. Off. Do ice system. All off. Inert sep. Off. Park brake. On. Landing gear lever. DN. Bleed. Off. Throttle. Cut off. Okay. Before starting engine. Crash lever up. Source, battery, or GPU. I don't know what that means. TOS system test, okay. What does GPU mean? Generator. Main. The ice system lights test. Okay. Landing gear lights check. GPU, generator, main, do ice system lights. Landing gear lights slash check down. Fuel on board, check. Okay, 
engine start, here we go. Ignition auto. I just need to make notes. So, so far, the only thing that I've really had to change to get this started. I'm just going to make some notes here on how to start this up. So first thing we changed was fuel select to manual, wasn't it? And then we did crash bar up. And then we did uh, source to BATT. I don't know what GPU or battery means. Uh, and then generator to main. Okay, ignition. Ignition to auto. Uh, Ox boost PMP to on. Uh, AU X boost PMP to on propeller area clear starter on two seconds then off starter on two seconds then off uh, starter Throttle set LO idle when NG at 13%. Transporter, you must complete this mission to be allowed to use this category of aircraft in our company. Transporter form dispatch, to complete the qualification, take care of your fly and landing. Is that idle? Throttle. Set low idle when NG 13%. ITT. Max 870 for 20 seconds. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what does that mean? This is fucking up.
is going on? Oil press slash temp. Check. Automatic starter. I don't get it. Oh. This is really hard. <laughs> Uh, why is ITT Max 870? Oh, there we go. Max 870 for 20 seconds, 1000 for 5 seconds, 30% for 30 seconds, 50% before 1 minute. Right, okay. Automatic starter off. When NG fifty two per cent. So what's automatic starter again? Start throttle low to idle to fly idle, low idle to fly idle. All pressure check, fuel select to auto, fuel select to auto. Shift button test. What's this? AP trims on. Generator to main. It's on main, yeah. Bleed.
bleed auto or max diff. Bleed auto. Right. to flight idle. Oil press slash temp. Check. Auxiliary boost PMP. Auto. Auto. Fuel cell. Auto. Fuel cell shift button. Hang on. So, AUX boost. Fuel select shift button test. Yeah, we've done that. Test. AP slash trims. On. Generator. Main. Bleed. Auto or max diff. Okay, before taxi. Inert separate. On. Controls check flaps up. Obviously, throttle feather twice, taxi lights on. Taxi lights on, park brake off. Inert seven on flight controls. Oh, come on. It's because I released the parking brakes, isn't it? And then I throttled up. This is hard. This is not an easy play. <laughs> now I'm going to have to do it all again. Oh, boy. Ellie eight four now. Oh. Oh. 
my first time flying this plane is 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 a bit of a nightmare. <laughs> Neofly is not responding. Oh, there we go. LE84. That's a bit for 87 nautical miles. Okay. my sorry I'm just having some issues with Neofly now so let me just sort that out by the plane here. Oh, for God's sake. So let me just sort this out. Uh, It seems that the plane, because I, because I crashed it, I have to rebuy it, and it seems like it's no longer selling it at this airport. But we're gonna work around that. Looks like if you buy the aircraft, it deletes it from the database.
Morning, Mike. We are having some issues. Try. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you how long you've been here, but uh, basically. Um, we're having some issues. That didn't work either. Yeah. Basically, we're having some issues trying to use the TBM 930. Ah. It's a, a bit more complex than previous planes. So we are struggling a little bit. I crashed it. I didn't even take off. I didn't know what I was doing. I crashed it. So yeah. It was just uh, going through the checklist and I'd released the heart. Uh, I released the um, parking brake and I'd put the um, throttle up and it, it clearly moved forward but I wasn't looking out the window so I didn't know I didn't know that it was moving forward so yeah all right so let's see if we can get back to where we were without the need Let's turn that checklist off for a moment. I have to learn where all the buttons are. Okay. Fuel select to manual, which is there. Crash bar up. Source to battery. TOS system test okay. Generator to main Ignition on auto Which it is Ox boost PMP to on Start it on two seconds and then off Twenty five percent throttle. Boost SP to auto. AP trim on Generator to main is correct Lead auto Lead Where's bleed? Checklist here. Ah, 
lead to auto, it's down there. Okay. Inert set on. Flaps are up. Taxi lights on. Oh, I need to learn the uh, commands here for these. Which one is it for that? Right. Which one was that? Control 5. Taxi light on. Part brake off. We won't do that. Right. Part brake on. Landing lights on. Navigation. Right. Before taxi, taxiing, landing lights on. Landing on. So this is after we taxi. Okay. Navigation lights on. Uh, Strobe lights on. Ignition auto or on. It's already there, we don't have to do that. So, uh, so nav on. Strobe on. Box boost PM to auto. Yeah, I've already got that. Fuel select auto, DI system as required. Pitter L, Pitter R, and stall HTR on. brake on that it's doing that. Where's the warning bloody light? Uh, is there not like a warning button that I can say yes I acknowledge this is now shut up? the parking brakes off then if it really wants the parking brake off we'll leave it off just make sure we're not moving okay we're not moving you still there Mike <laughs> I'll 
gonna miss a second and do that. So this is how the hell do you set the old cinema setting? Oh, there's the barrow there, okay. Uh, all right. Okay, and for takeoff, prop RPM to the green sector. <laughs> Brakes release, TRQ 100%. Is that. Rotation speed, pitch up 10 degrees. Flaps up at 115 knots. All right, okay, well, I think we've got everything. Off. That's up ten percent. One one five knots. Once I've done this fifty time, it will be. Landing gear up. I don't know what inert step is. I have no idea. Try this out then. Mm. Shall we try it out? What? Oh, we got no mission. LE eighty five, hundred and ninety pounds. This plane has a reverse thrust. Thrust. I don't know how that works, but we'll see if we can get it to work. Uh, right. I'm really nervous about flying this plane. Okay. Chip 
Ralter ground, Grumpy 13 tree ready to taxi north departure. Grumpy 13 tree taxi, to and hold short of runway 9 using tax away Charlie. Contact tower, on 131 decimal, 2 when ready. Okay. Taxi to and hold short runway Niner via Taxiway Charlie Grumpy Zero One Tree. I don't know if you can reverse thrust back. Maybe not. Maybe not then. Okay. ITT, wait for it to throttle back down. Okay. Oh, we'll do a push back then. been streaming for an hour already and uh, yeah I haven't even taxied yet so much for pushback he's just died why is he going for the back wheels why does it do that Runway 9. How many runways does this have? <laughs> it's only got one runway, isn't it? So... Why is it planes get more complicated? Okay, request takeoff to clearance. Gibraltar Tower Grumpy 01 Tree ready at runway 9 north departure. Grumpy 01 Tree cleared for takeoff runway 9 departure to the north approved. Tree. 
does it handle on the... That's a plane coming towards us. You clear the... T oh, that's a plane crashed. Ah, okay. I want to see how this camera angle looks. I can't seem to get it to work. Am I the only one who takes this seriously? Why did I get clearance to take off when there was planes on the runway? Maybe it's because of my, mul my multimedia settings, uh, my multiplayer settings. Maybe I hadn't. Right, how does this turn around? Oh, it has quite a tight turning circle. Okay. hard to tell. Yeah, they're on now. Uh, uh, R, L, R, they're both on. We did that. Uh, take off. One of my flaps to... All right, take off already. Okay. Let's go. Oh, we haven't set an altitude. We haven't even set a destination. Oh my God. I haven't even set a destination. Let's get up in the air and we'll then we'll get... Oh, look out. And then we'll... figure out the autopilot and everything. I should have set my destination. Transporter, don't forget it is a qualification. Stay focused.
Gibraltar Tower Grumpy 013 frequency change. It's so hard to read these uh, knobs. tablet with me so I don't know how to turn it on how do you turn autopilot on where's the autopilot on button JP Right How does This work <laughs> uh, How do we program the autopilot
man over, I don't know, manual override or something, I don't know. Okay. working anymore. I should be doing that automatically now, it's not doing it. So I've been playing around trying to make it a little bit um, look different. The stream, it was an idea that Mike gave me uh, so I've just been playing a Yeah, it did it automatically then. Oh. Well, this is been a nightmare. What happened to my green screen on my chair? I even put a green screen on my chair so I didn't have two chairs. But I think I ran over it with the wheel and it's pulled it off. few hours this morning trying to get this view perfected uh, trying to get this view perfected so when I'm, I'm chatting and whatnot you know but now I, I just can't seem to get the right position Unfortunately, one thing I cannot do is stimulate turbulence. So, so the, the plane, the plane's rocking, but I'm not rocking. <laughs> Why is that stop doing that now? I'm having all sorts of issues. Uh, what's going on? I'll pull that over a bit more like that. back of the seat it looks all right but yeah rob light and magic we are learning as we go yeah pretty much pretty much what i'm trying to do and Near 
nearest airport list. Furthest airports from you. Oh, I've got so, so much. I don't have. I've got three screens, and yet I still have. I still don't have enough screen space to pull everything off. showing on my list. to find the uh, airport that we're heading for on my uh, airport list. Overact. I don't overact. What are you talking about? I react. If my reactions are an overreaction, then so be it. This is a fast plane anyway. So theoretically, we should be able to go faster than this. to get it up in the air first attempt. You must remember to uh I must remember to uh What's the word I'm looking for? I don't even know what I was going to say, I've completely forgotten. Having strokes. tablet with me so I'm having to actually rely on uh, using using the knobs in the plane Tower Grumpy 
opposite direction to what we're heading so that's gonna be a bit of a bummer how far away are we did it say 41 miles all right now I'm used to seeing that up here but it doesn't say that up here anymore oh Yes, it does. 36 miles there. <laughs> We've got it. All right. What does inert step mean? What is inert step? While we're waiting for that, we'll have a look and we'll see what inert step means. speed after it's turned off. Once turned off you get more direct airflow to the engines. It's primarily intended to reduce the risk of FOD intake as well as ice buildup. Should be on when flying for a visible moisture and at or below 10 degrees Celsius. I don't even know what temperature it is. Having it on other than for proper procedure is probably fruitless currently. Ah, so that's what it is. So what's my outside temperature? Outside temperature is 9 degrees. So let's turn it off and see what happens. Nothing. <laughs> so much for thinking that it would we would go faster. back. 
I don't know what are safe Tried to fire and then slept through Nick's dream until I s tornado killed you. Weather can tornadoes. Uh, I mean, I still haven't played it, so it's been a while. I don't know what effect tornadoes have. Why do I need the landing gear? We're just slowing down. airport City. I have no idea where we are. Seville. We're approaching the city of Seville. That's where we are. We are in Seville. That is the airport below us, I believe, that we want to be on. Do 
Jesus, these buttons are hard to see. Now on heading mode. Grumpy zero one three cleared to land runway one eight. Wind two four two at five. I'm going to allow myself a bit of a distance to the. Well, we got in the flaps area anyway. That's good. So dark. <laughs> oh. Just want to give myself lots and lots of room to get there. doing quickly screwing this up I didn't know it did that off course. Oh, it's so hard to see autopilot. Let's go back that way. Let's get a bit more throttle up. Being careful not to bank too much. I have no idea where the airport is. Please 
completely lost here. What runway was I landed on? Runway 180, 118. That's not... not doing very well here. Transporter form dispatch. Sorry, you did not pass the qualification. Oh, shut up. a little more before trying it again. I knew it. Landing gear. Landing gear. I'm really getting bad frame rates on this as well at the moment. And I'm not slowing down. struggled with that. I don't know how I failed it. I must have turned too much. I guess.
a difficult beast. <laughs> Because the light shines in my eye, I know I've made this excuse in the past, because I've got light shining in my eye, it's very hard for me to make out things on, on monitors. The monitor which is right, you know, next to the light because of the glare. land uh, it's not helping the fact that we're in a sort of a built-up area as well so I'm getting a bit a uh, bit of frame rate droppage
seriously? Stewardesses are out of control. Why do they put trees so close to the edge like that? Oh my god. As far as actually landing went, wasn't too bad in the end. Columbia zero one three, turn next taxiway. What taxiways? There are no taxiways. Ways. <laughs> right. One two six decimal six from E zero one tree. What has New Fly done? It's put us back at LX GB. <sighs> so let's restart and try again. Oh, I'll get used to it. It's just uh, I've got to get. I've just got to learn how to fly it. I'm just gonna get a quick drink and then I'll be back.
course that didn't work. Probably because it wasn't on. <sighs> Just not enough windows. run we didn't crash so we, we have to do a mission again though or we'll get a mission again so where is it this time GMTN where the hell is GMTN how far 33 nautical miles GMTN Let's have a look where that is. That might be in Africa. Yeah, it is, that's in Africa. We don't we want, we don't want to do Africa yet. runway in this plane past my test. <laughs> what is the alarm going off? Oh, I haven't got the headphones on. Oh, is it music? Shouldn't be music. Why is there music playing? didn't turn off. <sighs> okay, this is like it wants me to go onto a grass airfield, but the problem is Bing is playing up again and I can't get a decent look at the airfield to see what type it is. So, I think we'll pass. I don't know what and there, there haven't been any new developments on Neofly for nearly a week. I mean, they uh, were really good at updating it nearly every day, but now there's just no updates, and this major bug with the map has, appeared, has happened. So, you know, thanks for that, guys. Let's just try and see if we can find another one. L E P R. Isn't that the one? Same one? No. L E M E. L E M E, 33 nautical miles. See, I, now I can't tell at all if it's grass, what it is, it just, 
doesn't help me. L-E-M-E. -E. We'll just have to do it. Looks like you're looking out the window. L-E-M-E. <laughs> -E. Right. Uh, Let's see if we can get this correctly done. Right, fuel selects to manual. I don't know why. Why is the why is it not a arrow now? Why is it got a double sided arrow on it? I've got a weird I don't have a cursor for some reason. I have a double sided arrow shape instead of a cursor. which is a bit annoying. Ignition to auto. Water, right. Ox boost PMP to on. Start it on for two seconds. Tars system test. Okay. Boost SP to auto. What? Ox boost SP to auto. Fuel set auto. AP trims on. Generator to main, yes. Lead auto or max off. Lead auto. Auto. And that's set on. Flaps up. Here we go again, connection lost. Uh, taxi light on. Okay. 
Okay. Does LEMA have any approaches? I don't know. I mean, probably not. Gibraltar ground, Grumpy Zero One Tree request taxi for takeoff, touch and go. No, I don't want that. Grumpy Zero One Tree taxi to and hold short of runway nine or using taxi way Charlie. Contact tower on one tree one decimal two and ready. Hey Feely. Taxiing hold short runway nine or via taxiway Charlie Grumpy Zero One Tree. pounds transporter to dispatch welcome to your qualification mission set altitude transporter you must complete this mission to be allowed to use this category of aircraft in our well, company I just set it to 2500 this time I don't want to go to Transporter form dispatch. To complete the qualification, take care of your fly and landing. Alright. Parking brake off. on right I'm not bothering with the pushback I'm just Runway 9. A bit of a pause then. Gibraltar Tower Grumpy 013 Tree at runway 9 are ready for takeoff touch and go. Grumpy 013 Tree cleared for takeoff runway 9 or left touch and go approved. I didn't want touch and go, but cleared whatever. For takeoff runway 9 or Grumpy 013 Tree. I didn't want touch and go, I pressed the wrong button, but for some stupid reason it doesn't give you a uh, an option to cancel your request.
reason it's not turning as sharply as it did before. I don't know, my Flaps up to take off. I mean, assuming that's correct. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. Yeah, that's correct. All right, off we go. I don't even know what the uh, best climb rate is for this. What the XR is and all that. straight into the side of that mountain. A half line. <laughs> oh, the Sesta, the Sesta 152. I mean, just bleh, off you go, you know. Center, Grumpy 
Our turbulence as we went over the rock. Look at that. I really don't know what the uh, climb rate is for this plane. Like, what am I supposed to be? I didn't. I couldn't find that. Like, what's the? Maintain present heading and altitude. Expect vectors. Visual runway one four. Approach Grumpy zero one tree. I don't know. find out what the climb rate is. Add my tablet. Descend and maintain. 
maintain 4,000 feet Grumpy 013. Grumpy 013, descend and maintain 2,200 feet. I'm trying to find out things I should have done before I started. speed is meant to be for this plane. And Google is not helping me at all. It used to be like on I used to like have references that I could use. Uh, but I don't know. That's radio. I used to, on the old G1000, there would be a there was a button here which gave me some some uh, information, but it doesn't have anything on this one. See. Well, I'm right over the top of the bloody airport, just so you're aware, already. So I clearly didn't come down fast enough. past the airport. Don't know why it told me to go to 12,000 feet in the fucking first place. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> Looks like it's a little thingy airport there.
this airport <laughs> yeah, that's it there okay Might have to retitle this episode to Learning to Fly at a TBM 930. <laughs> I think this is the right type of airport airstrip for this. Is that even it? I don't even think that's the airport. What am I doing? The airport stuck it over there, you idiots. That's not, that wasn't even the airport. That's it. That's the runway over there. 
<laughs> oh my god. I was gonna think that looks like a weird runway, that one. What's going on here? Transporter form dispatch. Almost there. Go to the parking and set your parking brake while I discuss with the inspector. You better pass me, honestly. You had better pass me. Because that was... took us what two hours something like that two and a half hours just to pass the bloody thing oh my god What a nightmare, guys. That was an absolute nightmare. <sighs> Two and a half hours to do that. I'm gonna have to re... re um, re... Uh, name the stream to something else. Because <laughs> that was shocking. That was really bad. Oh man, I can't believe how stressful that was. Well, at least we've done it now. Now, we should really go through the uh, checklist on... Not even two hours yet. It has to be, I started at three. It's, it's, it's been two and a half hours. Been streaming for two and a half hours. Where are you looking at? My computer is so slow. Mine says two hours twenty nine minutes. My on here. Live two hours twenty seven minutes fifty one seconds. Don't know what's going on, on your end. Well, according to to my uh, YouTube studio, it says been live for two hours twenty eight minutes and ten seconds. Fuck, that was hard. That was so hard to do. Honestly, it was really hard. <laughs> oh. God damn. I really do need to ch I change the title of this video. That's actually worn me out. And unfortunately, Sue's put the heating on again, which means uh, that it's really hot in this room. I don't know if we've got time to do an actual job now that we've we've done the uh, we've passed the test. I'll have a, a quick look, and we'll we'll see.
Right. So we're at uh, LEME. Let's. Airport screenshot that we need for the map. Tiny bloody airport. Are we going to get a print screen today or what? LEME See what jobs we've got I want to try and head north LEUT 43 miles L-E-U-T 43 miles Let's do that one And we need the uh, L-E-U-T any procedures, arrival, LETU, runway, none. Okay. Arrival, none. Okay. We're going to set a altitude setting of just 1,500 feet. It's not that far. I wish I could figure out what the FLC was, but I'll do that off stream at some point. Okay. One thing we didn't do when we came in was put our landing lights on. Connect and fly, 216 pounds. Yeah, 
now we'll go a bit cross country. Transporter. Transporter from dispatch. The cargo is on board. You are clear to taxi to the runway and take off. Look at this runway. Look at that dip. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh, I'm gonna turn around on the grass. Okay. Bloody hell, turn you Muppet. That's a big turning circle. right up in the air if he took off off that bump oh my god We're going to LEUT. to go a little bit higher.
a I've got so used to using the tablet for the autopilot that um, now that I don't have it in front of me um, I'm having to use the the mouse and it's just uh, you know awkward <laughs> But, uh, you know, we're getting there. Oh, there's a plane right on course, heading straight for us, but probably above us. why we're not picking up speed here. are so hard to make out. nautical miles comes down so quickly I do like the new way of entering in the destination and everything though. Hey South Jazz. 
why am I in heading mode? Just to get uh, a little, just to. Transporter from dispatch. The owner of the cargo has changed his mind. He'd like you to deliver somewhere else. It's up to you to decide. Nah. Check your mission log. Don't have enough time. I'm going to land at our original destination. Thank you very much. We are 15 nautical miles out. Need to spot the runway. Start slowing just down. Fourteen. telling you it's just uh fly flying the uh tv 930 for the first time sav jazz so i've been uh obviously trying to learn the ins and outs of it it uses a g1000 uh instead of the uh, no it uses a g3000 and i'm instead of the g1000 so it has a whole new way of entering things into it. Uh, so we've just been pissing about with that. But, you know, it's getting there. Oh. I'm gonna speed up a little. about 10 nautical miles we've got Trying to see if it's in position yet. Lima Echo Uniform Tango Traffic Grumpy 01311 miles south 1400 feet inbound to land runway 2. Wow, it's 11 miles. Okay. past when he was a female pirate. <laughs> On average I'm sleeping three to four hours a night now. My sleep apnea has become worse and worse and worse. I'm actually going to try and take some sleeping pills tonight. Position again, I can't. Lima Echo Uniform Tango Traffic Grumpy 0137 miles south 1400 feet inbound to land runway 2. Seven miles. I don't even know if this is a grass runway or not. Uh,
I'm trying to make out the runway. Ah, there it is. I see it. Disengage autopilot. landing Tango traffic Grumpy 01 Tree is on final runway 2 to land. something to do with maybe some rudder trim I don't know I don't know where there is any parking here oh yeah here we go runway here well I was happy with that Tango traffic Grumpy 01 tree is clear of the runway. Transporter from dispatch. Okay, nice job. Someone is coming to take the cargo. I'll call you when it's done. Wonderful. Okay, there we are. Done. Dusted. Whew. Let's 
so landing is a little bit easier than I thought once you get used to it. Uh, the problem is it it's so quick that things get there, <laughs> but you get there so much quicker than the other plane. So uh, preparation has to be done further away from the airport than than I'm used to. So I'm still trying to figure out you know those those distances uh, and everything in regards to that in regards to the distances uh, but yeah Whew. that was an interesting day an interesting stream but at least we're figuring it out some of the longer missions I mean this has a range of something like 2,000 2,000 miles uh, I think so if I put 2,000 in and let's do a search there's a well, there's one mission here which is 180,000, but I'm not sure what the cargo capacity of this plane is. Uh, but there is one where it's 1,107. Oh man. And it's 1,128 miles. It's all the way up to near bloody Scotland by the looks of it. Yeah, all the way to Scotland and it pays 105,000, 105,000. <laughs> you know. Oh. 105,000. Yeah, there's, there is one there that's 180,000, but I don't know what the capacity of this plane is. Let's have it. Let's do a, a check. So if we just put, I mean, let's have a look. Maximum weight. Like if we put maximum fuel in, how much more can we add in weights? Let's have a look. Five hundred. why it's uh ninety nine percent fuel five hundred six hundred about six hundred and fifty pounds is The max I could carry with max fuel. Um, have any jobs that could do that most of the long distance hauls are like big jobs like big heavy jobs 2465 let's check this another way 2465 that's way over fuel Yeah, I think I just emptied the tank and so the engine's shutting down. Yeah, so those big ones, no. But one 
1,500. On 50% fuel. I don't know what the range is on this plane though. <laughs> yeah, I don't know the range. Um, but anyway, I'll, I'll sort that out and I'll get some figures before the next stream. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm going to head off now. I got in trouble yesterday because I finished an hour later than I said I would. And my my wife got, I got in trouble for that. So I will see you tomorrow. Hopefully. Please drop me a like. That would be great. And hopefully I'll catch you all tomorrow. And we'll see you next time. Until then, bye for now.